first things first to get involved in um congratulations are in order for Burt Kreischer comedian Burt Kreischer has secured has got himself a movie a feature film he's spoken about it a few times on his podcast I think he's you know he's kind of always given me the impression that as much as he kind of loves to I wouldn't say he actually gets no he, he's not one of those guys that says he always hates Hollywood but he you know he's one of those guys that maybe believes you know he's his own bullshit sometimes in terms of how popular the podcasts are and the fact that they, they don't need the industry and all that malarkey but still I think the fact that you know um but it's but and you know i wouldn't be surprised that he was deep down his burning desire has always been no i think no i do remember that's 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 it i take it back i do remember a few shows but always saying that his dream is to have like a a one cam sitcom or something right um to kind of centered around his life of course and he's always said if he does get into acting he really would like to get into acting but he can't because he feels like he can only play himself which makes sense in it um, you don't really see him having the range to play a whole host of characters. So um, this is courtesy of Hollywood Reporter. It says the following Mark Hamill, comedian Burt Kreischer to star in The Machine for Legendary. Pretty decent, right? The project is based off Kreischer's viral story. As you can see here, that's a screenshot from um, The Machine, a.k.a. The Russian Mafia story that was basically the prelude to Burt basically popping and becoming one of the you know biggest selling comedians out there in America. Obviously, Joe Rogan helped a lot with that as well by telling him, you know, to actually to do the, do the, um, tell the story, him taking on tour, him deciding to clip it and upload. It. I think, if I'm not mistaken, it got popping off of Facebook, and then from there it just became a whole another thing, and he kind of built off the back of that. So that's pretty decent, and that also might have been his debut of talking about the show, of doing stand up about the show on. I'm not too sure if I'm, if I'm being incorrect there, but let's continue here. It says Mark Hamill is helping bring the viral hit to screen. The Star Wars actor will star opposite comedian Burt Kreischer in The Machine, legendary adaptation of the popular story Burt Kreischer told on stage about getting involved with the Russian mob while studying abroad in college. Peter Atencio, known for the Key and Peele and Keanu is directing. That's pretty decent. That's a score and a half. The director for Key and Peele is doing it. So definitely have a good little vibe about it. The only thing that's odd is that um supposedly Mark Hamill, um AK um sorry, AK Mark Hamill is essentially playing Burt Kreischer's dad in this movie, which is odd considering they kind of look like they're probably in the same age range bracket. Maybe there's ten years separating them, maybe twenty. But it's not enough for them to be a father and son, you'd imagine, right? But you know, needs must and I'm sure they're gonna do some you know, after effects to make it work, it continues. Crash's 2016 story has been viewed more than 85 million times, according to Legendary. I guess that's all platforms, right? Because uh, you know, they love to do that sort of stuff and collate all the numbers, but that's still insane, isn't it? Imagine that one, that, which is what I think someone like Gary Vee always says, right? You have to kind of always be ready content wise, so you don't know what's going to pop. You kind of have to treat your content like how musicians and artists have to treat their singles, right? You're always kind of thinking. You're always going into each song that you make with the idea that oh this could be the one that pops so that you have other things also in the in the kind of chamber in case that is the one that pops so that you can boom 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 drop 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 after 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 right and i guess that's the same thing with this like um but crash probably had a whole host of material he might have said this story a million times it might be part of his old bits he's already touring new stuff he's got loads of content already in the chamber because again he's uh, really good at marketing and stuff when it comes to com stand-up comedy then that pops and then you've got a whole bevy of content you can kind of throw out there so it's a great result it continues the film is inspired by the stand-up comedians uh stand-up comedy routine that sees the events of a story that catch up with the comedian 20 years later when he and his father hamill get kidnapped by the people that kershaw wronged the film is described as the hangover meets midnight run um was filmed in serbia kershaw and judy mano are producing um hamill known for his work as luke skywalker in the star wars galaxy can currently be heard as a voice in amazon's invincible he is read by the gersh agency and kleinberg Cuddy and carlo crash is read by levity live uta and J jeff edelick so big result man again the, the, for people that are fans of his that might be a good sign because that might mean we we finally stop hearing him mention the machine and you know the russian mafia story completely who knows probably not knowing that it's but but still a good look for him man, regardless so i'm pretty sure he's definitely going to be happy to have this to be able to have two you know one foot in the hollywood machine and one foot doing his own content that's pretty decent you know the marketing materials for this is going to be insane he's probably going to be you know touring this on all the podcasts when it comes out so it's going to be an unbearable 18 months when this does come out afterwards or even just around the same period it's being filmed but again i don't think it could happen to a 
a more hardworking dude all in all again like i said I, although i find him sometimes a little bit insufferable <clears throat> on podcasts sometimes i still think overall in terms of working hard putting out loads of good content being really funny as well you know which is something that you have to kind of give him credit for he does probably go on a lot about counterculture bent up to just being a generally funny dude but crash is definitely up there so congratulations to him on securing that film deal